Hello and welcome to Pictures of the Week. As a picture editor for a newspaper, it's always useful if a great picture comes in with a good story attached. It just makes it more appealing to the editor. This superb picture by the talented photography enthusiast Connor McLaren has a lovely backstory and is the culmination of some very detailed planning. It took him over two months to ensure that the sky would be just right. The Milky Way isn't always visible and he needed a moonless and cloudless night sky. And then he had to find the perfect site for this stunning proposal picture. Using a Canon 5D, a 16 to 35 mm lens at f4, the shutter speed was open for 25 seconds at ISO 8000. And I think you'll agree it was well worth it. And of course, she said yes. Now to the other extreme. This is a picture of a piece of art carved on the end of a pencil called Self-Made Man by the artist Salavat Fidai. It's at an exhibition in Melbourne, Australia, and photographer Graham Denholm was wise enough to take his macro lens along for this. But even so, it would have been a very difficult task to get this shot just right. This next picture comes from the Milan Furniture Fair. It's always hard work to make these events interesting, not least because the manufacturers themselves often want to limit photographers to certain angles or certain pieces. Here, Laura Chiesa has used the remarkable shapes and lines in the ceiling to focus attention on the couple kissing in the centre of the frame to make a really intriguing image. This picture, taken in Germany by Moritz Frankenberg, is a great shot out of not much. The startled look on the faces of the deer make the picture, and the use of shallow depth of field make them stand out against the background. And finally, this picture by John Moore, which recently won the World Press Photo of the Year. It shows a young child crying, as her mother is searched by a border control agent on the US-Mexico border. This is a classic news photo, shot as it happened in front of him, which captures a single moment in time that then highlights a much wider issue. John certainly achieved his aim of humanising the complex issue of immigration, and it's no surprise that this picture appeared in newspapers and magazines around the world. I do hope that you've enjoyed looking at these pictures. Please check out the links in the description below to see more work by these photographers. And I'll see you next time.